Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Drilling the borehole is only possible with the aid of the drilling mod, which is constantly circulated through the drill string and the annulus. The drilling mod performs several important tasks. It has to carry drill carvings from the bottom of the hole to the surface. It also has to help stabilize the borehole by providing counter pressure on the inside walls of the borehole. The drilling mod also has to maintain pressure in the borehole at a level high enough to prevent oil and gas from flowing from the formation into the borehole while drilling, so it has to prevent kicks. There are also many other tasks, such as lubrication of the drill string in the borehole. So how do you prepare such a drilling mod? Today, we will look at the typical drilling mods and the ingredients involved. For a start, as a conditioner and base material, we use water. Water is environmentally friendly and inexpensive. This is great, but unfortunately, water has a low carrying capacity. You can certainly imagine it to be difficult to use water to flush gravel tab coffins out of a deep borehole. This is why we add some structure building ingredients to our conditioner to increase the carrying capacity of this drilling mod. You can see this clearly here in our model. The drill coffins are kind of captured by the mod so that they can be carried out of the borehole easily, as you can see. An example is bentonite. This is a typical structure builder. It's a special type of clay. You can also use polymers like starch, which can even give a better hole cleaning. But on the other hand, they can be very expensive. What else do we need? We need to ensure the pressure in the borehole is always greater than the pressure in the pores of the rock to prevent a kick. For this to happen, the density of the drilling mud must be adjusted carefully to the actual borehole conditions. If the density is too low, we risk taking a kick, and if it is too high, the borehole will burst and will frack the formation. So for the fine-tuning of this density, we use different weighting ingredients with different densities, as you can see them here. With a clever mix of these ingredients, we can increase the density of the mud to the exact borehole pressure required, and this pressure should be a bit higher than the pressure in the pores of the rock. However, this results in a situation where we lose some drilling mud into the surrounding formation. This is bad. Therefore, we have to add some further ingredients to our mold to help quickly build a tight filter cake at the borehole wall. These filter cake builders are minerals of different grain sizes, which are composed in a way that the smaller particles fit into the gaps between the larger particles, so as to form an impermeable filter cake on the inside of the borehole, which prevents further loss of drilling mold into the formation. So now, you have an example here. Of our drilling mod. It looks like a tasty cup of cocoa, as you can see. We can use such a drilling mod for many applications in the field, but there are some formations that do not tolerate such a water based drilling mod. For example, think of a salt formation. Salt dissolves in water. Also, clay. Clay swells and gets sticky when in contact with water. This is not fun to work with. This is why we have what is called oil based drilling mod. The difference compared to the water-based mod is simply the base material, which is not water, but oil. For example, synthetic oil. From this brief illustration, we can see that it's complex to prepare a drilling fuel that is accurate and optimized for specific use. There is always a lot to consider. Therefore, we always have a, a skilled and trained mod engineer on every deep drilling rig, whose concern is to ensure proper preparation, conditioning, processing and control of this drilling mod. You can learn many of these things in our lecture, Mod Engineering. We look forward to see you here in Freiburg. Glukov.